Hockey goalies have one of the toughest jobs in all of sports. They've got to have cat-like reflexes to stop 80 mile per hour slap shots and Gumby-like flexibility to block all sorts of scoring attacks. The average NHL goalie isn't nearly big enough to block the entire net. And since there aren't any size restrictions in the rule book, our question is simple. Why don't hockey teams just hire big fat goalies to plug up the entire net? Instead of getting any old fat guy to guard the net, we want to find out what would happen if the world's fattest man filled the crease. But this 1,200 pounder couldn't get out of bed. If we could have gotten him to the rink, he would have blocked 90% of the four by six foot net. So we had to get the biggest athlete we could. Hello, Sumo. So we enlisted a top sumo wrestler to man the net. Six foot four, 500 pound, Tyler Tuioni. I mean, most people look at me and they see this big 500 pound guy who really can't move, but I am actually pretty athletic. I just move really well for a big guy. But even if he is athletic, at 500 pounds, Tyler only blocks 70% of the net, which would leave a lot of open holes for an NHL sharpshooter. So to make things fair, we brought in an NHL tough guy instead of a marksman. NHL right winger, George Peros. This enforcer is a Stanley Cup winner. But in his first five years in the pros, he only had nine goals. I think goalies are uh, underestimated, though sometimes they're not the most uh, ripped individuals in the locker room, but they're definitely very strong and they're very athletic. So can Tyler's presence in the crease force the hockey world to rethink the game? Did that go in? Yeah. <laughs> Can you see this? Can you see it? <laughs> no matter what Tyler tries, he's simply not big enough or athletic enough to stop these lasers. Went in. <laughs> Maybe a thousand pound goalie would do the trick. You got one? Oh, oh it really stinks in here. John and Tyler combined take up roughly the same amount of space as the world's fattest man, 90% of the net, which leaves only three feet of open space. So the two sumos should have this one covered. Even with a tiny amount of open net, George, who isn't known for his scoring prowess, found the hole. Just imagine what a sharpshooter like Alexander Ovechkin would do to these sumos. You could be a thousand pound guy, but if you weren't agile, fast, and have a trained eye to be able to see that hockey puck, there's no way that you would be able to stop an NHL pro. Apparently, 
The only way for a fat guy to stop a puck is if the shooter hits him on purpose. <laughs> Somebody help me up. So when it comes to hockey goalies, size isn't the issue. It's the skill and agility of these amazing athletes that makes the difference. And any fat guy who thinks he can step into a hockey goal will be skating on thin ice. Little help?